And fight. Okay, here we go. So yeah, it's just a, a recording test really because some of you may already know that I just got myself an HD PVR. Uh, it's the PVR 2 to be exact, gaming edition. And yeah, we had quite a few problems with it to start with. What with uh, missing the correct power adapter for the country I'm in. I'm in England and I was given a French HD PVR 2 without being told so. So that's a bit annoying. But yeah, as you can see, I'm playing Samurai Warriors 2 Empires just to have a, some hack and slash in because, you know, why not? Test how many enemies we can have on the screen and how blurred it will get or if it's perfect. Who knows? I hope it's perfect. I've done many recordings as well just to test it all. And on another note, if I sound slightly different, that's because I have got the Triton Kunai headset on, which uh, I also recently purchased on the same day as I got my HD PBR, to be exact. And yeah, it's uh, it's a lot better. It's more comfortable. It sounds better than my previous headset. My phone quality, I'm not too sure. I don't know if it is better or not. Um... Obviously, the only real test is when I play back this footage and hear if it is better in my voice, if I sound clearer or if my voice has changed some way from before, but hey, who knows. As long as it's not worse, because if it's worse, I'm not going to be pleased, obviously, because they're not exactly a cheap headset to buy. But hey, the comfort and sound is worth it anyway. Still, I definitely recommend uh, people getting them if they're looking for just any kind of headset. Because the microphone is detachable. So, yeah, just pick them up. They're pretty decent. I've had some Sennhauser on-ear headphones before. Obviously without the microphone. And yeah, it's definitely beaten those. And again, the Sennhauser, uh, Sennhauser they were... I think 40, 40 pound, so they weren't the most expensive version of them, but they weren't the cheapest either, so. It's all looking pretty good, visually. Audio, oh yes, another thing I, I should mention as well is, I have to find a fix, because when using the HD PBR 2, if you've already got it, you probably know this already, but there's a like two to five second delay between what you see on your TV and what you see on the preview screen when you're recording. And this is kind of a nuisance because at the moment I'm still using OBS. So basically what I'm doing is I'm recording the audio and visuals off of the preview screen and I've had to delay my microphone so it matches up in time with all the, the videos. So for example, just slashed that base captain there and killed him as he vanished away. That would be appearing round right about now. So yeah, bit of a nuisance. But I'm trying to find a way so it does all match up because yeah, for me it's a, a bit annoying because I'm listening to the sounds to make sure everything here is being recorded properly and it's all delayed. So if I jump and slash down, I've now heard that. Now, there we go. So yeah, it's a bit annoying, but hey. It sounds good though. It sounds good in my headset. So I'm not not too fussed, to be honest. But it just would be nice for future recordings. Because obviously, I've seen a couple of LPs do this as well, where they've got like headphones in their headphones. So if they use like a headset mic, they... Uh, <laughs> They use the mic because the mic's really good, but to get the sound from the telly, they wear headsets, like in-ear headset, underneath their regular on-ear headset, so yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't really want to have to do that, but hey. Obviously, I've still got other things to record, so it's nothing urgent that I'll, I'll be trying to do, so it's not a problem. Glorious victory. 
And obviously, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think I sound different. Again, let me know if you think it looks good. If, uh, again, maybe if you think I should do some tweaks. Don't forget this is a PS2 game, not a 360 game. Um, I might do an, actually, thinking about it, I'll do a 360 recording as well. So you can obviously see that the HD graphics will look a lot better. And this is just PS2 graphics, so they're not going to look amazing. The one thing that does show more so on the TV than the recording, which I don't know why, is um, the, there's a little bit of blurring. So if you look at the enemies' life bars, he says after he's just killed all the enemies. There we go. So Tadakatsu Honda here. His red life bar has got a little bit of a blur. And, well, on the recording, it's a little bit of a blur. On the TV, it's a bit more prominent. It's almost like there's three different colours going on. So, all red, just different shades of red. Oh, don't, don't be beaten by him. He's tough normally, but in Empires, he's uh, a bit of a wimp, really. In the other Samurai Warriors games, he's made to be one of the most unbeatable player characters there is. Mainly to go with his historical background, I guess. He was known as one of the best warriors there was. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good to me, and I'll tell you what, I'm really happy to have it. <laughs> Very pleased to have um, HD PBR, because... Yeah, the emulators, it was just getting annoying. It really was. With all the crashes, whether it was due to the memory card or... I don't know, it just not feeling like it wanted to actually do anything or work. So, I hope I can still record Devil Summoner with the emulator. I might just, instead of waiting for something to go wrong, I might just record... Uh, sorry, play... Devil Summoner on my PS2 as well, just so I've got that back up in case something does happen. Not that I'm negative at all, definitely not. There's no way any problems are going to happen. It's all going to go rosy, isn't it? It's all going to go so well. But for future games, like, uh, again, no surprise, games like Persona 4 or Persona 3. Or maybe the Silent Hill games, possibly uh, do some of those later down the line. Again, Resident Evil games, because I'm sorry to admit this, but I've never completed uh, Code Veronica X. So yeah, I do apologise about that. Pretty much every other Resident Evil game, just not that one. And I don't know why, because it's quite a good game. So yeah, that that definitely be one. I might do it in order, so start from one, uh, maybe on the GameCube, because I can record uh, Wii games and GameCube games as well now. So I have that. So yeah. The possibilities are endless, just like recycling. A ranking, there we go. Can't do much better than that. But yeah. Like I said before, just let me know in the comments if you do think something needs to be tweaked first before I do, obviously, in, in case I just leave it and go, right, that's fine, and then record later down the line. Um, yeah, I'll, after I finish this one, I'll record a 360 game. Um, I might have talked myself into playing Resident Evil Revelations now, actually. So I might record that, just so you know that the HD graphics are going to look so much better than their PS2 graphics. But yeah, I'll see you in that video and let me know what you think.